All right, Women of the World Poetry Slam is a four-day poetry festival in which 72 of the best female poets in the world compete against each other in order to crown the Woman of the World Poetry Slam champion. Now, each of the competitors is a slam champion at their home venue, having defeated everyone else in order to clinch a spot at the Women of the World Poetry Slam. And joining us now to tell us more about this event is Amanda Sutton from Wor Women of the World, along with Albuquerque Poet Laureate Jessica Helen Lopez. Thank you for joining us. Thank you yeah, for ladies, having thanks us. for Good being morning. here. So tell us a little bit more about this Women of the World Poetry Slam competition. Well, Women of the World Poetry Slam competition has been uh, hosted in various cities throughout the country for mm -hmm. a little over five years now. And it's in conjunction with PSI, which is Poetry Slam Incorporated. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2005, here in Albuquerque, we hosted a PSI national tournament, but mm -hmm. it was a, a group tournament. So this is the first of its kind here for Albuquerque wow. in 10 years this span. And so women from across the country, um, their entourage, their friends, educators, activists, etc., will be coming to Albuquerque to visit us, to perform, to compete, to facil facilitate workshops, and then take a little bit of the 505 home with them when they return so cool. to their own home cities. So it's in March 2015, right? Now, how did Albuquerque secure the spot? Local poet um, Jasmine Covey sub submitted a proposal and has assembled a stellar team of women, mm -hmm. including the two of us. All right. Um, <laughs> Jasmine is sort of our city representative, and we're also <coughs> working with Katrina Garaccio, who's a local publisher, mm -hmm. and Erin Northern, who's very involved in the poetry slam scene here. So the five of us got together and we submitted a proposal to the National Poetry Slam Incorporated, um, Poetry Slam International group and out of all the entries we secured the spot for Albuquerque. Wow, that is incredible. So, cool. so what kind of festivities can we expect uh, during this, this festival? Uh, well, it's a four-day event, so mm -hmm. throughout the day you'll have themed readings. Mm -hmm. um, you will also find uh, writing workshops that you can enroll in and um, in the evening we'll have competitions and usually it's a two-layer, uh, they're called bouts. So you'll have an early competition that you can attend, it'll be in local venues. Okay. Um, so local restaurants, bars and grills, um, various performance venues, mm -hmm. um, and then a later evening show as well. Okay. So there's always something to do over the four days. And then it'll all um, end in a final showcase, a final tournament at the Chemo Theater downtown, wow. our historical so cool. Chemo yeah, Theater. Absolutely. And that's something that Amanda secured. So. <clears throat> as a group of women who bring in their various resources in this planning, um, you know, it just becomes very unique unto itself mm. and represents our culture of Albuquerque. And mm. hopefully women will enjoy that when they come to visit yeah. our city. Absolutely. So how can people of Albuquerque help contribute? Well, we're looking for sponsors of all sorts. So we're okay. looking for media sponsors, business sponsors. ABC Library has already signed on as our major sponsor and they were integral in helping us secure the chemo, so mm -hmm. we really appreciate that. Bookworks is also a sponsor, West End Press, Swimming with Elephants Publications. Mm -hmm. We're looking for businesses to donate items for our swag bags for the poets okay. coming in, mm -hmm. which will be great exposure for businesses here as those mm -hmm. poets take those things back with them to their mm -hmm. home communities. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for in-kind donations, monetary donations. Um, donations of venue space. We still need to hammer out some of the spots downtown where the bouts will take place. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. And so, so is there a website or a sort of point of contact that businesses, volunteers, we can all get information? Yes, people can email us. We set up a Gmail account. Mm -hmm. That account is abqwow2015 at gmail.com. Okay. So people can write to us there indicating what their level of interest is, whether they would like to volunteer. Mm -hmm. We are looking for a lot of volunteers we need a lot of locally. Volunteers. Sure. Okay. Um, and we're also on Facebook and Twitter. So just by searching for the Women of the World Poetry Slam, people can find us there. Fantastic. And Jessica can talk a little bit more about what we need volunteers to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very specific things like uh, come out and maybe um, help usher individuals to their seats, everything uh, to uh, bout managing, mm -hmm. which gets a little bit more technical. Mm -hmm. However, I'm the volunteer volunteer coordinator and we also ha also have a national volunteer coordinator okay. so it's a big team mm -hmm. um, that's uh, assisting us in um, utilizing our volunteers to the you know 
to the best of our abilities. Sure. Yeah. Um, but it's also fun because it's a community effort. Yeah. It's a familial effort. And what's great about the poetry community here in New Mexico is that it's so big and it's so mm -hmm. celebrated. So yeah. I think this, this is yeah. fantastic mm -hmm. and a great way for yeah. us to get out and help. So again, for more information, folks, we will have a link to the Gmail account if you want to send them an email and get involved in Women of the World Poetry Slam. Just head over to cost.com, click on the Style tab.